In this video, we're going to compare the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID to the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini Bluetooth Keyboards. These are two fantastic keyboards to use with your Mac computer, but they have a couple big differences, even though they're priced very similarly. First and foremost, the Magic Keyboard uses scissor style switches, while the MX Mechanical Mini uses mechanical switches. And mechanical switches offer a very tactile, but also noisy typing experience, which can be a lot of fun, but it's also not for everyone, especially for people who are working in a public office who don't like to hear the clatter of other people's keyboards around them. The Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, on the other hand, perfectly matches a keyboard on a MacBook Pro, and it features the Touch ID button, which is super useful for paying for things, for making in-app purchases, and also for using just to unlock your computer or to access iCloud Keychain for saved passwords. The Magic Keyboard is awesome because it's a perfect mirror of the keyboard that's on your laptop. You get all the same function buttons like screen brightness, dictation, and do not disturb mode, where on the MX Mechanical Mini, the function buttons are quite a bit different, though you can reprogram what most of them do using the Logi Options Plus app, to do pretty much any shortcut that you can imagine. But F1, F2, and F3 are reserved for the device pairing buttons, which is super cool because you can save up to three different devices on the MX Mechanical Mini, and you can change from using one device to the next just by pressing and holding those buttons for a quick second, and then you can go from using one computer to another computer or to an iPad. But with the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, you have to use a lightning cable to repair it to different devices. Or you can pair it to an iPad wirelessly as well, but you have to shut the switch off and on and then go to the Bluetooth settings on the iPad. And then if you want to repair it to the computer, you have to plug it back in with the lightning cable. And then if you want to go back to the iPad, you actually have to forget it on the Bluetooth devices. So it's a huge pain to change from one device to the next. Also, I really love using USB-C to recharge versus lightning because that's what most devices are going towards. So that's a really big win for the MX Mechanical Mini. Here's a comparison of what the keys sound like on these different keyboards. The MX Mechanical is available with three different switch types, and I have a video where we compare all those different switches, so be sure to check that out. So the MX Mechanical Mini has bigger, louder keys than the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. But there's a couple other differences in the way that the buttons are spaced and where they're located on the keyboard. On the MX Mechanical, you get a home, end, page up, and page down button on the right side beside enter and shift. But with the Magic Keyboard, the enter and shift button, as well as the arrows, are on the right side of the keyboard. So that's kind of nice to be able to put your hand on the very edge of the keyboard and know exactly where you're at on the Magic Keyboard. The MX Mechanical Mini has full-size arrow keys, and the Apple Magic Keyboard has full-size left and right arrow keys and half-size up and down buttons. The arrow keys are also located in slightly different locations on these two keyboards. Also on the MX Mechanical Mini, there's no function button on the left side of the spacebar, which is a little bit different than the Apple Keyboard. I also find the spacebar on the MX Mechanical Mini is significantly wider than the Apple Magic Keyboard spacebar, and the command button is a little bit harder to hit on the MX Mechanical Mini. This does kind of get on my nerves. On the MX Mechanical Mini, you can either have the keyboard lay flat, or you can put it at an eight degree angle with the feet on the back. The Magic Keyboard has just one fixed angle, which is also very comfortable to type at. The biggest difference in the two keyboards as far as the way they function is the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID has the Touch ID button. This is really useful for logging into your computer, making purchases using Apple Pay or using the App Store, or for accessing saved passwords in iCloud Keychain. I do really appreciate having the Touch ID button built straight into the keyboard. On the flip side, the Mechanical has a backlight, which also looks super cool, and there's different backlighting effects you can use, and it allows you to change how bright the backlight is too. So the backlight's a great feature on the MX Mechanical Mini that you don't get with the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. The MX Mechanical Mini is definitely bigger than the Magic Keyboard. It weighs more and the size in every direction is bigger. The MX Mechanical Mini is available in graphite and it has three different switch types, clicky blue, linear red, and tactile brown. You can also buy the 4Mac version that only has the brown switches, but that keyboard is available in the pale gray or white color, as well as space gray. So those keyboards are a great option if you really want the lighter colored keyboard. The Magic Keyboard with Touch ID costs $150, or you can also buy the Magic Keyboard without Touch ID for $100. So that keyboard's definitely a lot cheaper than the MX Mechanical Mini is. The first question you need to ask if you're choosing between these two keyboards is if you want a mechanical typing experience or not. 
If you want the mechanical keys, you need to go with the Logitech keyboard. The next thing you need to ask is if you're going to use this with multiple devices. The Magic Keyboard is really annoying to shift between using one device to the next because you have to get the Lightning to USB-C cable. The MX Mechanical's device pairing buttons just make the process a whole lot easier, and I really appreciate it when I want to use this with my iPad, or with my phone, or even sometimes with an Apple TV. Another feature the MX Mechanical Mini has that the Magic Keyboard does not is USB-C and backlighting. So if you want backlighting, you need to go with the MX Mechanical Mini. And if you really want to keep the USB-C experience, you also need to go with the MX Mechanical Mini. One other big win for the MX Mechanical Mini is in the button reprogramming using the Logi Options Plus app. Because you can do those different application specific shortcuts, and you can completely remap what the function buttons do. And you can't do this on Apple Magic Keyboard. So why would you buy the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID? Well, if you're set on having Touch ID, you have to buy this keyboard, and it's only available in white. There's no space gray color, which is kind of sad. So you buy the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID if you want the Touch ID sensor, and if you want the layout to perfectly match your laptop's layout. Because I will say, it's a little bit more of a seamless experience using this and the laptop back and forth, because you don't have to think about where any of the buttons are or the arrow keys. It all just matches perfectly. So this keyboard is for the person who wants Touch ID and who wants to perfectly match their laptop keyboard. But buy the MX Mechanical if you want some of those more advanced features and if you want the mechanical typing. If you have any other questions about which keyboard you should buy, leave a comment down below. And also check out the links in the description if you're interested in purchasing either of these keyboards. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.